Hi, thanks for coming by PosterCentral.com's video blog again. I'm Pete Howard, and this is a really cool San Fran psychedelic concert poster that is extremely early in the Family Dog series, the uh, series of concerts, of course, promoted by Chet Helms of the Bay Area. And what's long on color here, what's short on color, take two, is long on design and charisma and just uh, catchiness and, and a few bits of um, history behind it too as well. This is a well-known image. It's um, the Grateful Dead and the Quicksilver Messenger Service. Therefore, the headline at the top of the poster, The Quick and the Dead, which is just really a catchy name for a concert and a poster. And then you've got that monstrously cool center image of the skull with the tuxedo and the carnation and everything in the top hat smoking a cigar. Now this um, this poster was done by Wes Wilson uh, who did the first 10 or 12 family dog posters as well as 54 of the first 60 Bill Graham posters but he didn't draw that cartoon that was actually done by a Mexican artist named Posada and it was selected picked out of a book or whatever source by Chet Helms himself and then um, Wes put the poster together. It's uh, June 10 and 11, 1966 at the Avalon Ballroom and again being the 12th poster in the Family Dog series it's known officially as FD12. Now this is also the very first time, again it wasn't drawn by a San Fran poster artist, but the first time that the skull motif, if you will, was associated with the Grateful Dead on a poster or anywhere for that matter and boy did that snowball get rolling down the hill and gather steam from this point going forward. Um, interestingly, the Quicksilver Messenger Service still had their original five-man lineup. This was before Jim Murray left here in June of 1966. And uh, back, I keep going back and forth between the quick and the dead. Um, this month, the Grateful Dead recorded six songs for the Scorpio Records label, including their very first single, which are now available on CD box sets and everything else like that. So it's kind of cool that this is a dead concert poster from, you know, using the skull for the first time and the same month as they recorded their first released single on Scorpio Records. So that's pretty, uh, pretty nice. I, Sometimes, every so often, a poster comes along in black and white that it just doesn't matter. Sort of like a famous rock movie like A Hard Day's Night. It either doesn't matter or it enhances it, the fact that it's in black and white. And this is a great example. This does not need color, even though a number of them were colored in by hand, both before the show and afterwards, because, let's face it, it just sort of begs for it. But this is a nice mint original, um, and uh, Wes hasn't signed it, but that's okay. It's not, it's not drawn or written on in any way. And I just like this, I won't say stark black and white, I just like the contrast of black and white. And it's a nice change from all the colorful San Fran psychedelic concert posters. So, The Quick and the Dead, thought you'd enjoy seeing it today, and a uh, pleasure to show it to you. And come by again soon, we'll show you something else fun next time. Okay, thanks a lot, take care, bye-bye.